You always wanted to have a display inside your PC case to see your hardware data and see how the PC performs? Well, we develop our own software and today we're going to show you how we did it and how you can do it yourself. So let's get started. A lot of people ask us how we created the displays inside of our custom PC builds. We will show you the software that we created especially for that use and share it with you guys so you can do it yourself. So there are already some solutions out there that show you how you could connect a display like this one to your graphics card and just put that thing somewhere inside of your case. So there are some drawbacks like you would need to connect a cable to your graphics card and route it somehow into your case to connect it to this display. So that cabling could look pretty weird and also you would lose one port on your graphics card. So there's also the issue with the display. In order to get some stats on the display, you would need to connect it to Windows and extend the display and then move a program over there to show your stats. But that can be pretty annoying and weird because your mouse can be stuck over there. So our goals were to remove all the unnecessary cables like the HDMI or external power and also remove all the Windows setup or external dependencies. So how did we do that? So the only thing you would need is a Raspberry Pi 3 or a Raspberry Pi 0W. You would also need a display that can connect over HDMI to your Raspberry. You also need an SD card where a custom made Raspbian image is flashed on top of it. Also you would need some kind of power supply. So either you connect it directly to your motherboard or with an external power supply. So the whole setup costs around 40 bucks depending on the location where you're from. But we're leaving some links down in the description so you can buy it yourself. You will also be needing our custom made monitoring software downloaded and installed on your PC that sends all the data directly to your Raspberry. After downloading and installing the software, you will be able to set the PC name in the Options tab. After that, the PC is ready to go. On the Raspberry, you need our custom-made Raspbian image that gets all the data and displays it on the screen. We will leave both downloads down in the description as well as a step-by-step -step guide that you can check out later. Now you would need to insert the microSD card into your PC and flash the previously downloaded image onto it. We are using Etcher to flash the image to the microSD card. Now that the flashing is done, all you need to do is insert the card into the Raspberry Pi. Now just connect a screen via HDMI cable or a small HDMI connector to your Raspberry. If you want to connect your screen via GPIO, Please read the details in the tutorial in the link down below. So now that the hardware setup is done, let's get started by connecting the Pi to your local network and to the mobile monitoring app. So first off, plug the Pi into your power source and let it boot. After the booting process is done, the Raspberry Pi checks if you have an active Wi-Fi connection. If you don't, it creates its own hotspot where you can connect to. Either use a PC or a phone to connect to it. Just select your Wi-Fi and type in your password so the Raspberry can connect to your network. So that's it! After connecting to your local network, the Raspberry should already receive data from your PC and display it. The whole software stack is still in very early stages, so please keep that in mind. If you have any questions or issues, leave a comment down below and let us know. We will maybe be adding some kind of templating later on so you can customize the data that is displayed over here. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more and see you guys next time.